Hello there, welcome to my channel on chemistry lessons. This is a BTEC Applied Science Unit 5 Chemistry and we're going to be focusing on enthalpy profile diagrams. In terms of specification then, it's a learning aim A3 and we're going to be covering these four bullet points here. The outcomes of this video then are to look at those terms system and surroundings and what they mean in terms of chemical reactions and then we're going to explain the difference for exothermic and endothermic reactions in terms of enthalpy and then we're going to represent enthalpy changes using enthalpy profile diagrams. First up though if you don't subscribe please do your support is very much appreciated and please take advantage of the like and comments features let me know what we think. Let's begin by reminding us of what enthalpy was then from the previous couple of videos. So enthalpy is a thermal energy stored within the chemical system. Now when we use the word system I'm talking about the chemical bonds within a substance and we saw that the enthalpy was equal to internal energy U plus the product or the multiplication of pressure multiplied by volume. Now you do not need to know this equation, you will not use this equation for calculations, it's just a representation to show you what enthalpy H actually is. And we cannot measure the enthalpy of a system directly. So we can't measure the enthalpy of those chemical directly. But what we can do is we can measure any enthalpy change during a reaction because during an enthalpy change, the surroundings will change in energy too. And when we talk about surroundings, we're going to be using water as the surrounding substance of this chemical reaction. So a chemical reaction is going to take place within the chemical system and any change in energy will be felt by the surroundings. In our case, that's going to be water. And we'll see that in a future video where we do calculations. The two types of possible reactions then are an exothermic reaction where energy is released from the chemical system to the surroundings. That means that the enthalpy of the system will go down because it's lost energy. However, the energy of the surroundings will increase. So the water would increase in temperature as the enthalpy decreases in the chemicals. So it's a negative delta H and a positive delta T. We could say the opposite for an endothermic reaction. That's a reaction that absorbs energy from the surroundings to the chemical system. So the chemical system is increasing in enthalpy, it's a positive delta H, and the surroundings then are decreasing in energy, so it's a negative delta T, the temperature would be decreasing. We can show this on an enthalpy profile diagram. On our x-axis here we have the reaction pathway, and on the y-axis we're measuring the enthalpy. So let's have a start point here with the reactants. For the first diagram, I'm putting the products below the reactants. This means that the enthalpy has decreased. So from the reactants to the products, this is showing a decrease because it's gone down. This means that the enthalpy change is negative. Now that reaction pathway also requires to overcome an energy barrier before it becomes the products. And this energy barrier here is known as the activation energy. So we do need to overcome a certain amount of energy for the reaction to start. And then once the reaction begins, we then get our exothermic reaction. So we're recognizing here the difference between delta H and we've got an activation energy. So this is an example of exothermic. Energy has been lost by the chemical system. The chemicals have lost energy. Delta H is negative. That means the surrounding energy has increased, the energy of the surroundings. So the immediate surroundings would increase in temperature. And that's directly in relation to the energy lost. So the energy lost by the chemicals is equal to the energy gained by the surroundings. And when you measure temperature, you are measuring the surroundings. So the surrounding temperature increases means the chemical have the chemical system has lost energy, negative delta H. The second example we could look at then is where there's actually a positive change in enthalpy. So the enthalpy of the products is above the enthalpy of the reactants. 
So this is a positive enthalpy change. We still have this barrier to overcome. Now be very careful here because it's tempting for students to wrongly think that the activation energy is from the products up to here and it's definitely not. So that arrow is incorrect. Okay, we must, it must be from the reactants to the top of that peak. So that red arrow is the activation energy again. So this is showing an endothermic reaction because what's happened here is energy has been gained by the chemical system. So the delta H is positive and that energy has come from the surroundings. So this time the transfer of energy is from the surroundings to the chemicals. So the surrounding temperature has decreased which means the enthalpy has increased. And those are the two important enthalpy profile diagrams that we need to be able to sketch and label. So practice drawing an endothermic and an exothermic enthalpy profile diagrams, clearly showing delta H being negative or positive and being able to label the activation energy and being aware of what the activation energy is and also being able to use the terms chemical system and surroundings and how the energy transfers from one to the other. So that's it for enthalpy profile diagrams. Hopefully you found that useful and don't forget to subscribe and take advantage of those likes and comments features. Good luck.